find it really cool to show people who are experienced what younger people can do and what they can think of. This competition is frankly awesome. I think this sort of thing is invaluable to future careers because it gives you the opportunity to showcase this in front of industry leaders. I've seen some amazing tech today that could help people more in the future and how much easier it makes life. It's a very nice opportunity to get to know the technologies all around. Even if yours is not as good as the others, you can still learn and strengthen your skills on technology. I just really love the atmosphere and seeing everyone talking about your project and seeing other people's ideas. I enjoy seeing other students that share the same passion as I have. Seeing all these geeks around you that have so many cool ideas is just so inspirational. Some of the innovation that these kids are coming up with, it's absolutely mind-blowing. The RC Explorer is really the only national technology competition that's not just about STEM or technology. It's reinforcing critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork. Engaging with something like Young ICD Explorers really is part of our DNA in a sense. They want to be constantly challenged, constantly engaged. They want new stuff all the time. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, isn't it? This is MasterChef. What it is, it's a cloud-controlled cooking robot. All you have to do is put the food in the pans and then it tracks you. So when someone's daily activities are finished and they're close, it determines the cooking time for when the person comes home. Plant A Health is a multifaceted project that allows gardeners worldwide to acquire a unique insight into their plant's health. They can take a picture of it using a modified camera, run it through my website, then they can call in a professional botanist to check it out. Riders have no way of showing their actions, so when they turn the corner, they shove out their arm. Using sensors and lights shows brake, then the indicator, that side will automatically stop, and the other side will start again. Our project 123 Jump is targeted at kindergarten and prep students to help with their rainbow facts, so what equals up to 10. It just helps them learn easier, because it's, it's even more fun that way. Our project is called What Are We Wasting? It's a smart bin that measures the height of the rubbish for convenience of the user, but also the amount of waste within it. And this information is then sent to a social media website where users are pitted against each other in order to motivate them to reduce their waste. It's called Infinity. We're using Intugame, which links your phone to your computer for the VR side of it, turns your phone into a mouse. It's about my personal experiences with depression and anxiety. I want to show other people who may know somebody what it's like and what they're going through. My project is called Dance Dance Arduino and it is a dance pad I've made using the Arduino Leonardo, which acts as a dance game just like in an arcade. I was inspired because I don't really like a lot of normal types of exercise, but I do like video games, and by combining the two, I can get more people interested in being active. Techno Court is a court that has different courts, but instead of having the lines on top of each other and layered, it has each of the lines light up. We've got a set up on indoor soccer and basketball. It's a robotic wireless prosthetic hand. You'd put your hand in this glove here, and then if I moved my thumb, it would go through the Arduino board and this receiver, radio signal to this receiver. So basically it mimics. The exoskeleton, it comes from, you know, exo out and then skeleton, so sort of like a frame. What it's designed to do is it picks up your movement, it amplifies it using motors. Generally it just enhances your movement and that's good for things like spinal injuries or trouble walking. This is probably the most potential I've ever had with a project. The younger you go, the more potential you bring out in trying to do things bigger and smarter and better. It's not just something for a certain group of people, it's for everybody. They are learning really important skills that are going to help them with the kind of jobs that are going to be available in the future. And it's the competition that has driven that and driven the students to achieve that. 2017 has already been a pretty spectacular year. We're growing in just about every dimension with new partners, new schools, new projects. It's an extremely exciting time to be part of Young ICT Explorers. It was just the gateway to a whole world for me. An incredible opportunity for kids to inspire others to take on an ICT journey. This goes beyond just the competition, this could help millions of people around the world.